everyone, I'm Hande Atalay and welcome to my channel. As you can understand from the title of the video, this is my first English video in my channel. I hope you will like it. In this video, I will share my tips and tricks for my everyday makeup and how I do it. So I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. I will be really happy if you subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up to this video and open the notifications from below. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, this is my username Atalai Hande. If you're ready, let's go! So as I mentioned before, in this video I want to give some tips and tricks that you can use in your everyday makeup that are working for me and hope they will work for you as well. During the video, I will try to give as much information as I can for the products that I'm using but if you want to get more information, you can check them down below. Before going to the foundation and concealer, I'm gonna do some color correcting because as you can see, I have a lot of dark circles under my eyes and have some redness and some red spots in my face. The product that I'm using is called Miscope Corrector Makeup Pro but it can be anything that you have in your hand. Basically it's a color corrector like that. So the idea of the color correcting is for the dark circles under your eyes you can use this orange based color correctors and for the red spots that you have in your face that you want to color correct you can use the green one. I'm getting some of the orange color corrector to a brush like that and I'm just patting it under my eyes like that. I'm not blending it too much, I'm gonna do it with a beauty sponge later. So if you don't have any problem like I have under your eyes, you can just skip that step. So as I said, I'm using a beauty blender that I have here but any makeup sponge is fine. For the red spots I have, I'm using my finger, I'm taking the green color corrector and just patting it to some red spots that I want to get rid of. Now we can go to the foundation step. The product that I'm using for a long time and I'm very happy with the product, it's Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and this is the one that they have in the Dewo Finish version. They have another one that is called the Matte Finish. Not super matte actually, but more matte than this one. So this is a Dewo Finish version of the same product. My color is golden, beige or medium. I'm just taking it directly from the uh, bottle and just doing some war paint to my face. Also don't forget to put your foundation a little bit to your neck and spread it down so you don't have a line under your chin. To blend the foundation you can use a sponge or a brush however it feels comfortable for you. What I do is I usually start with the brush and then go on top of it with a blender. So if you're not happy with the first layer you put, this foundation is good for build up so it doesn't get cakey. You can put another layer for the places that you want a little bit more coverage and that's what I'm gonna do right now. For the second layer I'm blending this with my beauty blender. So the difference between the using a beauty blender or a beauty sponge and your brush, the brush gives you more coverage. And the Beauty Blender gives you a little bit more dew finish. Using first a brush and then a beauty sponge is the method that I'm using because it helps the blending and then it creates a more, as I said, dew finish and blended face. For the concealer, for a long time I'm really happy with one product. It is called L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. Usually I'm using the number 332 but I also have 330 in my hand. So recently my method is using the 330 that is called Pecan in the inner corner of my eye here and then using the Ambre 332 for the outer part of my under eye. 330 has a more, uh, how can I say, salmon color based undertone. So that's why it also helps to cancel out the purpleness under my eye. That's why I'm putting it here where I have the most problem and then I'm using the other color here and then I'm blending them all together I'm adding a little bit 332 to this little beautiful red spot that I have to cancel it out 
The foundation and the concealer is ready. Now, next step, setting powder. Products that I'm using is I Love Revolutions Banana Powder. It's called Scented Baking Powder. I'm really, really happy with this product and it's really affordable. I'm putting a generous amount under my eye to set the concealer and prevent it from creasing. And for the rest of my face, I'm using the same powder. You can use it with a brush, but I prefer doing it with my beauty sponge because it helps the powder go inside the pores more and combine it with that Divu finish and the matte finish. Using a powder to set your face, your foundation and the concealer is very important. Before, I was, I was skipping that step, but when I started doing it, I noticed that it, it makes a huge difference in the end result of your product and it helps to keep your makeup longer. Let's do the brows now. I don't do too much filling and changing the shape or anything like that for my brows. I'm just filling a little bit the empty spots and giving a little bit more color. That's all I'm doing. And for that, I'm using Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the dark brown color. I'm basically getting on top of my original brow shape with light strokes and giving a little bit more definition. That's all I'm doing. So as you can see, the idea that I'm going for for my brows is my brows but better. For the eyes, I'm using Sophie X Ultra Eyeshadow Palette by Revolution. This is a palette that I have for a long time. Now inside you will see how dirty it is. <laughs> what I love about this palette is it almost has the all colors that I like. I'm gonna be doing something that I usually do on a daily basis when I want to have a little bit more makeup on me. I'm taking a light color like a bone color that we can say and I'm going through my eyelid like a base color then I'm taking a blending brush and going with a little bit lighter brown color I think it is called cup of tea the first color that I used called pancakes well till this video I never checked the names of that colors <laughs> what I'm doing is taking that cup of tea and putting it in the crease area of my lid and blending it in just to give a little bit color on the outside part of my eye so my method is while using eyeshadow is taking it little by little and blending 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 so i'm not using the darkest color first it's a method also that you can use but what works for me is using the lighter colors and then going to the darker 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 and darker but the key is not putting it all at once, just going it step by step so that you can save yourself from doing a mistake or putting it too much color at once. Now I'm going a little bit darker. The color I'm using is Tiramisu. Well, this palette not only has nice colors, it only has nice names. So I'm doing the same thing actually what I did before, but I'm keeping it a little bit smaller this time now I'm gonna take a little bit more precise brush and I'm taking the shade peaches it is more like an orange undertone brown and I'm putting it right here in the outer part of my lid just there I'm not going up to give a little bit more orangey bronzy effect now I'm going to take another more fluffy brush. I'm going to dip in the mug cake color. That's a little, really, really dark brown. I just want to give a little bit smoky effect on the other outer side of my eye. And I'm putting it right here. A little bit and blending it out. Just a little darkness on the outside. Then we're going to blend it out more. Now I'm taking my blending brush again and dipping it into again tiramisu color and blending this all together. Now I'm dipping it to the color iced coffee. This is a really light color and I'm just blending it on the edges here. 
then finally I'm taking a clean brush like that I'm just blending it out again but now with no color so as you can see we use a lot of colors in different layers but the end result looks very blended and very smoked out so it's not looking bam in your face but it looks very nice and smooth so this is the end result that we are achieving for so this is the reason that why I'm blending too much with different colors now I'm using the same technique that I use for the upper part of my eyelid for the lower lash line lower lash line is done for the inner part of my eyes I like to give a little bit pop of shimmer inside so for that I'm gonna be using the color fairy lights with a brush like that it's a really nice and shimmery champagne based color I'm gonna just put it in the inside part of my eyes so it will give an effect like that so this shimmer effect inside is one of my favorite things that I do when I'm doing my makeup so now it's time for the eyeliner for that, I have a really nice trick that I want to share with you. Whatever makeup I do, I always use a black eyeliner for the top of my eyes and the inside of my under eyes. But for years, I tried to find an eye pencil that is not going through everywhere and staying all day. So what I found out is I cannot reach that goal with a pencil. What I'm doing is I'm using a black gel eyeliner like a black pencil. You can use any kind of gel eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline New York Black Gel Eyeliner. And I'm taking a brush like that, like a pencil brush, really thin and sharp on the end. So I'm loading my brush with the eyeliner, so like I'm creating my own black eye pencil. Then I'm lining my eyes like I normally do. First, I go it inside of my eyes, like that. Then what I really like to do is underlining the inside part of my upper eye line. Like that. So this gives a fuller effect and actually makes my eyelashes look fuller. Recently I noticed that according to my eye shape, instead of making a full line for my eyelid, I'm making a half line starting from the middle part of my eyelid and then going it out and then I'm connecting this middle part a little bit to the inside part of my lid but really really thin a very important tip if you're using this method like using a gel eyeliner instead of your black eye pencil don't forget to clean your brush after you do it because if not the product will dry on your brush it will be really hard for you to use it after what I also really like to do for my eye look I prefer a little bit smoked effect under my eyes so that's why I'm taking a brush like that like a flat brush and I'm just going over my eyeliner and smoking it out a little bit just a little bit nothing too much nothing so serious but I prefer a look like that instead of a precise line the finishing touch for our eyes is of course mascara what I'm using is essence I love extreme crazy volume mascara I'm in love with this product it's very cheap very affordable but the result is amazing yes the eyes are finished let's put the finishing touches on our face for contour and bronze i'm using a contour kit from anastasia beverly Hills that i have long long time ago as you can see it's very dirty and old i'm using this color as a contour color and then i'm mixing all these that are under here for my bronzer color i'm using a flat brush like that and i'm putting a line just under my bone here and I'm doing the same thing on the other side like that and I'm taking a little bit fluffy brush and then spreading it out and blending it out like that then I'm taking a big 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 brush 
And I'm mixing these three shades all together. And I'm using it as my bronzer color and bronzing my face. I'm taking this little brush again and I'm taking this shade here a little bit lightly and I'm putting it here under my jawline. I like contouring my nose a little bit, nothing too much, nothing too heavy. I'm taking this flat brush again, taking my contour shade and just doing that. That's it. I'm blending a little bit to my brows. I like that look. I have a color that I really like. It's Milani Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. It's like a peach undertoned blush. It has tiny, tiny, tiny shimmers inside, but nothing too heavy. I'm taking an angled brush like that and I'm loading it and then putting it starting inside and then spreading out. For the highlighter, I'm going to be using Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter in the color of Champagne. For the lips, I'm going to be using one, two, three different products all together. First, I'm going to outline my lips with a brown eye pencil that I got from Primark. Then I'm going to be filling it with a nude lipstick I have from Maybelline. It's called Nude Embrace 930. Then I'm going to be using a lip gloss from Maybelline. It's their new product, Limiter Gloss. And it's called Silk 004. It's like that. That's it for the makeup today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. And I hope I can give you some tips that you can use it for yourself. As I said before, all the information about the products I used will be down in the description box. I will be really happy if you subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up to this video and open the notifications from down. If you want to follow me from Instagram, my username is Atalai Hande. See you on the next videos. Ciao!